Inside Educational Consulting, we'll design and develop a course to fulfill the officer's training for all three levels of expertise. The overarching learning goal for this unit is for officers to become experts in the Navy shipboard system matrix, which provides information regarding the characteristics and fundamentals of the world's fleets and its combat systems. Currently, ensigns are 75 proficient in recalling relevant data. The challenge consists of increasing the success rate on the threat matrix proficiency test taken by ensigns from 75 to 90 percent. To accomplish this, the completion of the newly proposed course is required for every ensign. This is a two-dimensional matrix where platforms are displayed along one dimension and weapons along another. For example, a cruiser might have a machine gun of a certain type, but so would a destroyer. The request made by the subject matter expert states that thousands of facts and hundreds of relationships all need to be memorized. Ensigns are assigned the task of memorizing the thread matrix on their own to be tested six months later. Based on the best practices for recall of ma massive amounts of information, these four were selected to be included in the design of this program. We will use frequent spaced intervals of learning instead of large chunks or unrepeated waves. Second, repetitions. Early repetitions may be iterations of what the ensign already learned in order to cement recall while well, future repetitions should allow for greater elaboration. On the knowledge side, early repetition may involve recall on the fact or, or may involve a different presentation of the fact. Up to 90% of what ensigns may learn can be forgotten within three or six days without proper reinforcement. Self-paced modules and games will provide immediate feedback for mistakes and will make ensure make sure ensigns get it right before moving forward. This strategy ensures that all ensigns are able to embed the correct manner in which to respond rather to, than accumulating incorrect responses. And last but not least, we will use stories to drive the learning experience. Our brains have a much easier time with things that we can store in episodic memory. Ensigns can recall more easily facts embedded into a story than recall facts presented at a discrete le list of items. The story elements will serve as a memory trigger for Ensign. Our selected storyline will be based on Campbell's Hero's Journey, which matches the course timing. The development for the course shell will be organized using a major storyline rooted in mythology that can be simultaneously fascinating and complex. Intrigued by mythology, Author Joseph Campbell studied the myth and made famous claim that nearly all myths and some other story types have similar ideas. Campbell noted that the hero's adventures are almost identical in their format, such that the different stages of adventure identified have come to be called the hero's journey. Asynchronous activities and content will be organized in 12 folders and inspired by in the 12 hero journey stages titled Start. It will include an instructor welcome video, syllabus, tutorial video for the hypermedia, memorization style test as well, and initial training for each reported style so ensigns can apply it on specific content to be recalled in this course. Tutorials compiled from preferred memorization activities, for example, how to develop digital flashcards, memory maps, how to learn directly from the hypermedia system, instruction on how to access the collaborative media will be included in this folder. Assignment 1 will introduce the ensign to the practice of memorization of the first three high-priority countries in order to comply with learning objectives. The ensign will also register in the collaborative media selected for this term and will receive daily messages regarding relevant content and motivational messages. The ensigns will be subjected to a formative assessment via an initial survey to review their attitudes and expectations for this course. Week 2, Call to the Adventure. This folder includes a first quiz, which is not really a quiz, it's a practice of the, of the game where ensigns realize that it may take more 
effort to achieve 90% recall than expected. In view of this realization, the folder will include a recorded web tutorial on how to use the instructional game named Trial and Ordeals. The game at level one, zero, which is a practice, and we call it a uh, recognition level, is configured on drill and practice mode for only the three first countries with older attended information. The third time the students access the game, they will be tested in what we call the combat mode for all the high priority countries that were uh, taken. So, uh, regarding the collaborative media, Ensigns will start receiving daily messages regarding relevant content and motivational messages according to the week's theme. Ensigns will have access to posts on selected social media to, as they enter this week to share their best practices and exchange their memor the memorization tricks they have used. Folder 3, Entering the Dark Forest. This is where Ensign will need to recall all the data regarding high priorities countries. They might feel a bit disoriented. This is the first stop test of the quest for the Holy Grail. This is to achieve 90% proficiency for the final exam. So this is their first trial. In anticipation for this quiz, the Ensigns may feel overwhelmed. This recall week is carried out intentionally in order for them to identify and overcome their resistance. All ensigns must attain a test score that is higher than X, which will be established by the subject matter expert and the game developers in order to access the quiz and release the next folder. Once they have achieved this goal, ensigns should start working with the first three mid-priority countries. Folder four, meeting with a mentor or it could be, since we're not going to have, this is going to be self-learn, can be meeting with the rest of the, uh, the, of the group. Ensign will review their test scores with the, with the assigned peer and via web conferences or face-to-face -to, -face to be determined and plan the next steps that includes for this week or these next two weeks, reinforcing their recall on the older release data. Ensigns will start memorizing the next N number meet priority countries, and trials and ordeals will be open for them for drill and practice activities. That is what we call recognition level. Folder 5, crossing the threshold. A new round of game of trials and ordeals in combat mode will begin where students are required to participate. The game for this, for this level includes completing all countries of high priority and n number of countries of mid-level priority which will be scheduled assuming that certain con conditions are present, that is, to be determined. Tests, allies, enemies. Now, finally, out of his comfort zone, the hero, that is the ensign, is confronted with an ever more difficult series of challenges that test him in a variety of ways. Obstacles are thrown into his path. New content is included and by the end of the week, there will be a competition whereby teams will try to score as high as they can. The new challenge is that questions are not in order. The challenge level for the combat mode of the game will be set by the instructor. Teams will be organized to, the, uh, to their personal initial scores and how do they memorize best and will be grouped according to best practice for highly effective teams. Instructors will receive a short instructive for this activity. Or, in case that there is no instructors, we can do some self-test and, they, and we, can, we can have a social match done there, a team match. Approach to the innermost, inmost cave. Ensigns using their memorization tools will receive the rest of the information they need to memorize and will speed again to play individually. Nonetheless, they can continue studying together and they will still use every, for every, any time, they will use the collaborative area. Folder eight, ordeal. At the end of this week, based on the, all the content acquired so far, Ensigns will be tested again, virtually to the course area. Folder nine, reward. Based on their scores and their learning styles, they will organize in pairs, small groups, and those who scored best will mentor those who did not fare that well because the goal, really, and the major reward holds for that the entire group 
score 90% or more. Folder 10, the roadmap. This is where it contains all the activities of mentoring and all the content of playing the game, trials and ordeals in teams and individually preparing for the final battle. The roadmap. Folder 10 contains the activities of mentoring all the content and playing the games, trials and ordeals in teams and individually preparing for the final battle. Folder 11, final battle. By the end of this period, Ensigns will attend a group test and the goal indicates that the entire cohort is to be 90% proficient in this test. These activities are held in preparation for the actual final test and the resulting scores will be used as part of the formative evaluation process. Folder 12, return home, that is final test, the real test. Celebration, Ensigns will receive daily me messages regarding relevant content to be reinforced. This could even be personalized depending on Ensign's past scores as reminders and motivational messages according to the, this period theme. To summarize, in order to create this dynamic environment, we will create four structures, that is, an adaptive online reference tool named Threat Matrix that includes all relevant data organized by country military Navy information, an interactive online game titled the Trials and Ordeals using a customizable interface that displays a graphic environment similar to a situational strategic room conveying written data from the hypermedia adaptive database as well as visual identifiers from the vessel that they need to be described by the ensign. Trials and ordeals can be played in two modes, recognition module, which can be paused at any moment, and the combat mode. Collaborative media. Even though the potential for social media such as Facebook, Yammer, Twitter, Ari, and messages to enhance learning and gain competitive advantage is already clear, and knowing that the audience already use these tools is already built in, we will need to thread carefully in the adoption of these tools. And all of these elements above will be included in the six-month course shell within the instructional institutional learning management system that links all these elements together as described in the 12 folders.